up guys, it's DFO here, also known as Bitable Football Opinions on Instagram. I'm back with Manager Mode episode 12. I'm so excited for this season. A lot of things are happening right now in my YouTube channel. I got a lot of videos coming up for you guys and I got some projects in the works. They're not gonna come right away, but they're gonna come eventually. For example, starting off with a new setup. Now we have a wall behind us. I was kind of thinking that this could be like our DFO YouTube channel wall. Sure, right now it's kind of like blank and there's nothing in it, but back here I wanted to put inside jokes from the YouTube channel and little things from videos. For example, I could put like a picture of Vialva or, or maybe a picture of like our lineup or, you know, whenever we win the Champions League, if we ever do with Salford City, I could put the trophy here. You know, this will be like our little memorial wall, basically. We'll call it that, memorial wall. DFO Memorial Wall. There you go. We got it. But that's one of the things that's coming into the channel. We have a new setup. We have a new mic. I don't know if you guys realize that I got a new mic. No more crappy old mic that messes up my audio all the time. Now we have a new mic, new setup, and I actually got a couple more things coming up in the future in my mail, like in a couple weeks. Uh, I'm going to add a green screen. I'm going to have I'm going to have a couple of things. Don't worry. I'm just trying to say that there's a lot of cool things happening. A lot of cool new things are coming to the channel. So stay tuned. And if you have been staying tuned before, thank you. Let's leave all the rambling behind and let's move on. We are here, episode 12, manager mode. As you guys remember, we are in Europa League. That's a lie. We're not in Europa League. We have to go through playoffs first. I don't know when playoff is or who we're facing. This is the preseason tournament. Oh, here it is. We're facing Mattersburg. I don't think they're good. I don't even know what country they're from. I think they're, they might be German. They sound German. But odds are that we'll beat them. If we beat them, we're in Europa League. If we don't, well, we're not. And it'll be hella disappointing. Let's do a little recap of how our team looks. Well, it looks like crap because they're all tired and on their international duties. But if you guys remember, we have 44 million. So we're going to start off the episode the same way I always do it. I'm going to play the preseason tournament. I'm going to try to win it. And if we do, we'll have about 55 million-ish maybe 50 million i guess and with that 50 million i'm gonna take a look at all of your requests from the previous episode and i'm gonna look at all the players that you guys want me to buy i'll take a look at it then we'll try and see who we buy so let's get the episode started why do I always clap like that's gonna do anything? Okay, so we're back and let me tell you how the tournament went. We played horribly. We got out of the group stage. We didn't even make it past it. Why? Because every single player was out for the World Cup. It was, it's a World Cup summer and everybody was away. So I was forced to buy all these crappy useless mofos. The only two people in here that are actually mine and I didn't just buy, you know, just to have players are Soria and Duarte. I got them from the youth program and they seem to be pretty good with high potential. So we'll see about them. But yeah, it's literally just Soria and Duarte. All these useless guys, I literally just bought them so we could fill up the team. But anyways, everybody's back and we didn't win the whole summer thing. So we still have 45 million. These are basically the players that you guys recommended the most. A lot of them look expensive. So I'm going to look around and I'm going to see who I can actually buy. Keep in mind, we do have 45 million and we can't really sell anybody. So after narrowing it down to the players that I can actually afford and that we actually need, uh, it's these three players. We have Billy Gilmore, who's in his mid 80s. It looks like we can afford him. And then Sterling, I don't know how good he is, but it also looks like we can afford him. And then Palaversa. I don't know who recommended him, but another player that we can afford and that would be great. He plays CDM, Cam, and center mid, like all the midfielder positions, basically. So we're going to wait on the John Sterling because I do want to see how much he's rated. So we're going to wait a few more days. In the meantime, we're going to head straight into the first leg of the Europa League qualifying rounds. Just a big heads up. If we do qualify to Europa League, I might not include every single Premier League game just because these videos tend to be a bit long, like on the 15 to 20 minutes this one's gonna be pretty long because you know i have to make signings and then i have to play like four different competitions and show it so i just might not show all the you know domestic cups and the premier league games i'll show the important ones or like i'll, I'll just leave a few out of the way you know just so this video is not like incredibly long it looks like the john sterling is 80 rated so i do want to sign him but first i want to go for maybe paula versa just because he looks like a better option than uh Vili gilmore and he's not that expensive so we're gonna go for him he currently plays for man city but if we get him it's gonna be a great thing because he he plays in center attacking mid center mid cdm he's still kind of young and you know a great player for backup his current value is about 28 million so we're gonna lowball them and just 6 26 and then just go from there it should be no problem okay yeah it actually might be a problem let's see if we can bring it up to 30 and yeah 
There you go. That's how you negotiate. We're going to go negotiate with him. And unless there's a huge problem or something, he should be our player and he should be our first signing of the episode. He is going to be rotation just because Skip and Viava are being so highly rated. I mean, Viava already 91. Skip is pretty, you know, up there as well, like 88 or something. So it looks like he's okay with being a rotation player. And that's exactly what we need, really. No release clause, no nothing. Let's just pay his wage and get this over with. We still have 13 million for maybe another player. I don't know if we could maybe sign Sterling. Maybe do a swap deal plus the 13. Okay, Augustine from the past, shut up for a brief second and let me save everybody some time by saying that we failed to sign Sterling. We tried and tried, but we just couldn't do it. And so we still have 15 million left in our budget. Dang it, I just wasted my entire time. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. I told you, idiot. We only have 15 million left. So I don't know if we can do anything with that. If anything, I'll invest it in like the youth program once again. Um, or I'll try to sign somebody who's like running out of their contract come January. Well, we signed one player. I mean, what else do you want me to do when you only give me like 40 million? Wow, okay guys, our first European competition is here. We're facing Mattisburg. And if we win, we'll be in Europa League. Guys, before we start the season, I just wanted to do something really quick. I think it's time that we change our captain. I'm gonna give the captain armband to somebody who deserves it. Somebody who is the leader of the team, Villalba. Some might say it's too early for him to be captain. Some might say he's too young, but he's already 92. He's already the best player in our team at 21 years old. So we're gonna make him captain and hopefully he doesn't disappoint. Okay, so Paulo Versa joins our team. He'll be on the bench for today. We really need the strongest 11 out there so we can qualify to Europa League. Okay, so here we are, the first leg of Europa League qualifying. As you guys know, it's two legs. So we just gotta get this first leg away game out of the way we have the strongest 11 okay we got it we got the one nil win Ave gives us the one nil and we're heading into the second leg with an advantage no worries I feel like we should be able to qualify I feel like we'll be good our first game of the Premier League is versus Brentford and then we have the second leg of Europa League so I don't know how I'm gonna approach this I'm gonna try and maybe rotate a little bit but not not a lot because the Premier League is still like you know an important competition we can't forget about it but I am gonna give Palo Barca a try for skip and we'll bring in skip in the second leg of the Europa League can the team handle the pressure to qualify for the Champions League it looks like that's a, that's what they want us to do I'm gonna say it's well within our reach because we have a great team first game of the Premier League let's pick it up let's get a win let's do this yes three ooh. and I, ooh. three zero win but two players get injured that's the first time I've ever seen two players get injured in the same game van der Broek gets injured we have Gazaniga so it's okay Mavropanas gets injured but we have Anderson so I guess it's fine Oh my god, okay, this might be worse than I thought. My Ropanas get injured for two months. Oh my god, and Van Der Broek gets injured for two months as well. I guess we'll be fine because we have subs, but if those subs get injured or a red card, we're gonna be in tough trouble. A lot of people are telling me to change the sliders for injuries so people don't get injured as much, but this is just the way I play. I mean, I've always played manager mode with like the injury problem and like I know it's unrealistic and whatever, but it adds like a little bit of challenge, you know, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Sorry. So my Ropanas is out, but we have Anderson and then Van Der Voort is out, but we have Gazaniga, so I don't think it should be a problem. Um, we still have a very strong 11 and we play at home, so we should be fine. I managed to get our morale to very happy and we're gonna get into the second leg of this Europa League qualifiers. Let's bring it home. Let's get Europa League. Oh my God, that's the biggest win. I believe that's the biggest win of this whole career mode. 6-1 win, as if there was ever any doubt. Villalba gets a brace, Abe with a brace, and then Joshua and Calvert Lewin. That's incredible. We win, we're in Europa League on aggregate. 7-1. They got Brazil. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. Turns out there's another qualifier. We have to go through another one? That's so many games in the span of like two weeks. I thought it was just a one. Okay, well that, that just adds to the challenge. So our team is set to go. We're gonna head straight into the first leg of the second game of Europa League. Let's go, let's pick up a win away. Let's get this game over with, with a win. Yes, we do. Okay, 3-1 win. Again, when we play at home, we'll seal the deal and we'll finally be in Europa League. We face Swansea next for the Premier League. We're going to rotate a little bit. We need to pick up a win because I do want to qualify to Champions League. They lost their last two games badly, so we should be able to pick up a win, and we do. Quaresma gets injured. God damn it. Whenever I tell you guys that I'm not going to change the injury sliders, I sound so cool because it's like, nah, I can handle it. It's fine. But then I bitch about it the whole episode. His injury is for six weeks not as bad as the other people but still pretty bad i don't know what we're gonna do in this game hopefully i guess we'll play skip at like center back or reese james i don't know we're, we'll do something i think actually I'll, i'm gonna put palo Versa at center back because really like we don't have any other options we're gonna try and see if we can win the second leg should be in no trouble because we already won three one so we should be fine second leg of the second round of europa league qualifiers we won three one away let's pick it up let's wrap it up 
and let's seal the deal. Let's go to Europa League. 4-0 win. Another humongous win for us. And we destroyed both teams that we played in the Europa League qualifiers. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully there's no third round of qualifiers or something crazy like that. Yep, I'm checking the calendar right now. And guys, we are in Europa League. After everything, we're finally in a European competition. Now, let's get the season started. I just realized we kept a clean sheet with Palaversa at center back, which is pretty cool, I guess. Let's see if we can do it again against Spurs. A much tougher opponent now. I think we played them away. Yes, we do. This is going to be tough seeing as they won two of their last three games. and uh, But we need to pick up a win to be in UCL. Cont we lose 2-0. I can already see this season being the roller coaster that it always is. Our next game is actually Liverpool. Then we have a Europa League game. And then we face Man City. So we have a hell of a tough month. So we really need those people that are injured to be back ASAP. Speaking of injuries, we get... Oh my god, okay. Anderson gets injured for eight weeks on training. This is stupid. This is getting ridiculous. I've always played like this. That's why I try not to complain because I, I should be used to it, right? But no, it it ha it's happening more than ever. It's an, I've never had a problem like as big as this one. We basically have no center back. I'm going to have to change information or do something weird. <laughs> Liverpool's right around the corner and we have no center back. Okay, so this is how weird our formation looks for the Liverpool game. We have pretty much everybody good in their own positions, but then we have Palaversa at center back. And then we have Soria, who's our youth player at center attacking mid, which is his position, but still he's 61 rated. He's not ready to start, let alone start against Liverpool. I don't have high hopes at all. I'm just hoping that the people that are injured come back right away. Not gonna say anything in this game. I'm just gonna shut up. F Putting that out of the way, we have Europa League. We go into our first ever Europa League game against Young Boys, and we're gonna go into it with the same lineup as Liverpool, so maybe not the best thing, but it is what it is. We really can't do anything other than wait on the players that are injured to come back. Can we please pick up a win, start this Europa League campaign the right way? Yes, we do! Good, good, good. Okay, good. I was so worried that we were going to just bottle this whole Europa League thing, but we managed to win 3-1 against Young Boys. I love beating Young Boys. FBI, open up! Next up, we have West Ham. And actually, the Man City game that I mentioned is for a Carabao Cup, so I'm just going to rotate the heck out of it. I don't want anything to do with this whole Carabao Cup. I don't want anything. So let's head right away into the West Ham game. Their record doesn't look good. I know that we play away and that we don't have our best 11, but this should be a win. It's a tie. Considering our luck and how the season is going, I whatever. We got a tie. Oh, actually, we do face Man City for the league and the Carabao Cup. So I guess I'm just going to rotate the heck out of this game. Quaresma is finally back, but not entirely. So I'm going to rotate a lot in this game. I'm literally going to put Maguire, this guy, like everybody that you guys don't know. Every fake player is going to go in right now. And we go into round three of Carba Cup. This game, I pretty much just want to lose. We lose. That's great. We get it out of the way. Now, hopefully Man City are tired for the game that actually matters, the Premier League. So I'm going to rotate back to our starting 11 and we're going to see what happens. We go into the Man City game with the same lineup. And uh, Quaresma is finally back, but I'm, I'm going to put him in the bench just because uh, I don't want to risk it. And hopefully, hopefully we can at least pull a draw or heck, even a win because it's at home. And we're, we're already supposed to be a big team. And we don't. We lose. What's the problem with Premier League? Why can't, why aren't we a big team already? I hate this. I hate every second of it. Hey, Gaffer, I really appreciate you giving score. Do something good for once. Honestly, Carver Lewin has been so meh. Okay, we get our players back. This is where the season gets a complete turnaround. This is where we have to start doing good. There's no more excuses. Our team is completely stacked. Now we have no injuries. Everybody has to start performing already because I'm losing my mind. Mavroponis is back. Vanderboard is back. Not gonna play them yet. I'm gonna keep him in there in the bench so they can kind of recover fully. We face OG and Nisa from France. And uh, is it nice or is it Nisa? It's Nisa, you idiot it doesn't even matter because we're gonna pull the win with this struggling 11 that we have wow we actually f lost looks like our group stage is not gonna be as easy as i thought dude we're 12 in the premier league if <laughs> we're gonna get sacked this season we're supposed to be a top team and we're struggling in europa league and we're 13th i hate injuries i hate this game i hate my life we go into watford oh wait i don't even have a hopes up we have we have People injured. This is the Premier League. Of course, we actually won. Okay, we actually won. We actually won. I was talking so much about our team and how we never win in the Premier League, but we actually managed to win. Nobody got injured. It's all good. It's all good. We get a little bit of a break here, so hopefully our players will be back and healthy. Okay, guys, check this out. We have everybody back. Like, we have no injuries. So what's our excuse? We have the best 11 out there. There should be no reason why we can't 
pick up a win against, I don't know, who do we face now? If we lose at home versus Wolves with our best 11, with no excuses, no injuries, come on. There we go. We pick up a win. Abby with a brace. Come on, dude. I need wins. I'm losing my mental health. Leave a like, please. We go again in Europa League. Now we face Standard Liege, who have not won a game yet. Next we face Southampton, but we're gonna have to focus in Europa League until we get, you know, until we qualify. Hopefully we can pick up a win. This team haven't won in Europa League in their group yet, so come on, let's pick up a win. Let's call it a day and let's go back home with three points. Yes, we do! Big win, nobody gets injured. That's <laughs> I can't believe after every game I have to focus more on whether or not people get injured rather than like the actual result. But anyways, we face Southampton. But if we pick up a win here, I can see kind of like a, a huge form, a good amount of wins coming in our future. Come on. Yes, we do! Plata with the brace, securing three points. Let's keep on climbing up. We're seventh. Slowly but surely we'll be back up there. You'll see. Our morale is happy. Our form is good. We play at home. So this test against Arsenal, even though they won all their last two games, should be a very good one. And we should be able to pick up a win so we can keep on climbing up in the table. And yes, we do! 3-0 win! No more of this big six side bull****. We are stronger than all the teams in the Premier League. We need to keep on winning so we can keep on advancing in the table. Finally, we're getting some results. Look at our Premier League table. We are fifth. Our next game is versus Everton who we should be able to beat. They're not great. We just came from beating Arsenal. Yes, we do! 3-0 win away! Plus three points. We're finally getting up there in the table to the places where we belong. Let's keep this form going and hopefully end the episode right along the UCL qualifying lines. Soria and Duarte keep on going up. They're both in their established mid-60s, so by the time the season ends, they should already be like kind of good enough to be our backup. Okay, we actually have a great, great test ahead of us. It's at home versus Chelsea. We drop back to seventh because everybody else played their games, which means we need to win this game. Come on, Captain Villalba goes up to 93. That's incredible. Can that Villalba magic lead us to plus three points against Chelsea at home? We just beat the other London big six. Can we? Yes, we can. We, we just beat Chelsea. We just beat Chelsea and Arsenal back to back in the Premier League. We climb up the table. I don't know where we are now because we have to face, we have to beat these young boys again. I think if we win this game, we'll finally be in the next round of Europa League, which is round 32, but we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna maybe rotate a little bit. We're gonna put Quaresma back in, and that's about it. We're, we're I'm not really gonna rotate fully. We do have Leicester City after this game, um, but we're gonna try and battle for both competitions with our main 11. Let's win this game, so we'll finally be in the round of 32 of the Europa League. It's versus Young Boys. We beat them before. Let's beat them again. Yes, we do! 4-0 win. Abby with a brace. Abby is coming in clutch, as always, but now more than ever, actually. Guys, look at this. We're fifth place in the Premier League. Now, the other teams are ahead of us by quite a bit, but at least we're putting the pressure in, and we're trying to make it to the UCL spots. But we face Leicester City and then Fulham, so those are two pretty winnable games. Mavropanas goes back in, and let's see if we can pick up a win versus Leicester City away. If we pick up the three points, then Fulham should be a no-brainer. This should be plus six points with Leicester and then Fulham. Come on, let's pick up the first three. Oh, fuck, bro, we were doing so good. I switched the formation once again to a 4-5-1 with, with Villalba at center attacking mid and just a one striker. But just because Villalba is pretty tired this game, we're going to put Calvert-Lewin up top while Joshua becomes our center attacking mid. That means Mavroponis is back to being captain and Villalba is in the bench as our super sub. Maybe he'll go in and, you know, score a goal or two. But for now, he's in the bench. We fell back to eighth, which messed us up a lot. But now we face Fulham and the record is horrible. It's Fulham, so we should be able to beat them since we play them at home. Yes, we do. We pick up three points by scoring three goals and we move up to sixth place. So again, putting the pressure. Now we face Aston Villa, another easy winnable game. So let's keep on doing this. The episode's almost over as it's December already. So let's let's try to end the episode in a good way. Now that Villalba's pretty rested up, we're gonna start him at center attacking mid and our main striker will be Joshua. Everybody else, you, you guys already know. So we're gonna head straight into this Aston Villa game. We should be able to pick up a win. Let's pick up a win so the people above us don't get farther and farther away and so we can keep on qualifying. Come on. This is a winnable game. It's Aston Villa. They're hardly in the Premier League. Okay, whatever. Wait, I just saw that somebody won the Ballon d'Or. It's Lautaro Martinez. What happened to Villalba? Is he not, is he not good enough? How good is Lautaro Martinez? 90 rated? Bro. Bruh. We have Villalba. Why, why hasn't he won the Ballon d'Or? 
was in the top three at least. I guess we have to win like Europa League or Champions League for Villalba to win the Ballon d'Or. Get out of my face, Lautaro Martinez. Anyways, if we secure a point, even just a draw, we'll be in round 32 of the Europa League. I think even if we lose, like we'll, we'll still be in it. But it doesn't hurt to get three points out of this. We have a great 11 out there. We should be able to pick up a win. Yes, we do. This was the team that beat us in the other game. So it's good that we beat them now. We're finally in round 32. But for now, we have to focus on the Premier League. We're seventh place right below Arsenal, right below Man United. And we need to keep on winning to keep on putting that pressure in and hopefully try and sneak in UCL spots. We have West Brom at home. The record looks horrible. If we lose or if we drop points, I'm gonna Yes, we do, okay. It's just, I knew this was a winnable game. I knew that this was supposed to be a no-brainer, but FIFA messes you up a lot, okay? Especially in games that you should be able to win easily. We get the three points, but we don't move in in rankings, but we're gonna keep on winning points. Uh, speaking of the Premier League table, we face Man United, who are not doing good in this season, but they're still slightly above us. So I'm gonna put the best 11 out there and hopefully we can pick up three points against Man United. I think if we pick up three points, we'll definitely, definitely add the pressure in and hopefully we'll sneak in to fifth place. Let's go in this Man United game. Let's pick up a win. Come on, let's show them that we can actually battle this big six sides. Yes, we do! We won! Let's go! We went 2-1 away! Oh my god, we're beating all these big six sides like they're nothing now. We're, we go up to sixth place, we knocked Man United down below us. We're gonna finish the episode in a good way. Our next game is Southampton, I think, and, and Newcastle. These are winnable games. I mean, we just came from beating Man United, Arsenal, Chelsea, qualifying to Europa League, round of 32. So, I mean, Newcastle should not be a threat. We should be able to pick up three points. And yes, we do! Come on! We're not getting injuries. We keep on winning games. Our form keeps on going up. Dude, come on, we're right there. Dude, hold up, let me check the table. Okay, Man City and Liverpool are hella far. They're 10 points away, but everybody else, like literally third place is one point away from us. So, hmm, mm hmm. Next we face Southampton, and we, if we pick up the three points against them and versus Wolves, we are gonna have a great season. It looks like this 4-5-1 formation is kind of helping us a lot, and that's gonna show right now when we beat Southampton, who don't have a good record. This It's gonna show right now when we beat them and get three points. Yes, we do. Palo Verso with a brace. Plata with a goal, plus three points. Are we are we third place yet or how does it look? Oh my God, we go into the top four. We're right below Arsenal. Now, Man City and Liverpool are still 10 points ahead of us, but I don't think, I mean, I don't really think trying to win the league is our realistic goal. I think it's just qualifying to UCL. We need to keep on winning and we need to keep on adding pressure to the teams that are above us. The last game of the year, December 30, we face Wolves away. I already put the best team out there. If we pick up a win, we'll be done. Yes, we do. We pick up a win. I was just going to say, if we pick up a win, we'll, we'll finish the episode on in such a good way. I have to deal with all of these uh, players, contracts, and whatever, so I'm gonna take care of that off screen, and we'll be back for episode 13. Honestly, I'm very, very happy with the way things have looked. We started off kind of shaky, and we started off kind of mm, like we do every single season. We managed to get into the top four, and if we keep on winning, we might even put in pressure to the top two teams, but for now, our main concern is to make a top four and qualify to UCL, and also, do our best in Europa League and maybe even win it. Who knows? If you want to see how the season ends, tune into the next episode. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Leave a like. And if you know any friend that might enjoy this kind of content, share it with them. Thank you so much for all the support that this channel and every video has been getting. You guys know I'm very, very appreciative of, of how much support you guys show every day in both my YouTube and my Instagram account. So let's just keep this thing going. I'll see you guys in episode 13. Thank you for watching. Cheers.